Hey everyone, I'm CJ aka Adventure Shock 24 and welcome to an unboxing video. I haven't done an unboxing video since the Nintendo Switch first released. Which uh yeah, that was that was a very, very long time ago. But I'm I'm here doing another I'm here ready to do an unboxing video today because I have somehow managed to collect some very, very rare things, namely, a whole lot of, like, old Hot Wheels items that are, you know, just, just so old that, like, you know, they're discontinued, they're not available anymore, really. First things first, I have somehow managed to get my hands on an ancient discontinued collectible card game from the Accelerators franchise, the Hot Wheels Accelerators collectible card game starter set. And this is the two-player starter set. This set contains, as you can see, an exclusively decorated Hot Wheels vehicle, which you can see right here, which is a transparent, like, dark green colored, what's it called, synchro. I believe is what that car is called, and it comes with a custom car case. Win the ultimate race. So yeah, this box contains everything you need to play a full round of the card game, which is very, very cool, since like I said before, it's discontinued, you can't get it anymore. And in the bottom right corner, as you can see, it says watch accelerators on Cartoon Network, I would, but, uh, yeah, that, uh, that franchise definitely does not air on Cartoon Network anymore. And this is the back of the box, too. Contents. 80 cards. That's a lot of cards. That's more than, that's more than a standard deck for, like, the Pokemon trading card game. Which is pretty surprising. An exclusively decorated vehicle, which is Synchro. 20 tokens. Not sure what tokens are for, but I guess that's, you know, I'm gonna learn how to play the game later when I open this. After the video. Card a card case for it, which is, you know, this thing, I'm assuming. The, the big thing um, that pretty much is the reason this is a pretty large case, so I can't fit the whole thing on camera, and have all the, have all the words be readable. Everything you need for a two-player game. Custom card case, and the vehicle. It really says that a lot. <laughs> it, it, it really does list everything a lot. Okay, it's kind of hard to fit this thing on the camera, since I don't really have a setup for an unboxing video right now, so I just, you know, make and do with this. But I think, I think I can, I think I can make it work. Wanna race? Then open this box and prepare for a fender rubbing competition that careens through environments so hostile finishing won't be as important as just surviving. The first player to blast three vehicles across the finish line takes the trophy. So... Winner or wreckage, you decide. Okay, so after I've opened the Accelerator's starter set, which I will open in just a second, I do also have this just single standard Accelerator's car, which is, if I, I think it says it like right around here, Rollin' Thunder, which is a Metal Maniacs car, and it's number six out of out of the nine from from the. Metal Maniacs type cars. Th this is basically the only other Accelerators specific car that I uh, that I have to open right now in this video, but it does contain an extra booster pack with three extra cards. Pretty small booster pack considering the the starter kit comes with eighty. And then after I've opened Rollin' Thunder, I do have this, the Wave Rippers painted Diora two. Which is what the main the main protagonist of the first Hot Wheels movie, Highway 35 World Race, made for the 35th anniversary of Hot Wheels in general. That's what that's what that movie was made for, and basically the main protagonist of that movie, Vert Wheeler. This is the car that they drove, and it looks honestly it looks pretty shiny from from inside here, and. I, I, I also like, the, like how in the bottom right corner you can see it says well, Nitrox 2 here. That's a fun little reference to the main, like, booster that they use throughout the movie, which is fun. Includes a World Race comic. Probably not gonna read that in the video, but I'll definitely, you know, check that out later. On the back it shows, collect all the Highway 35 World Race cars and get the Ultimate, st ultimate Track Set 3 f for free. What does it say here? 
See comic for details. Approximate ret retail value of $150. Okay. Well, that's probably not available anymore either, and probably a lot harder to find than the stuff I found already. But, uh, either way. Oh, and there's a drawn version of the protagonist right there. Although, you know, although the movie itself is in 3D. It's, it's not 2D, so... It's pretty cool being able to see, like, 2D renditions of all the characters here. Since that was never a thing, to my knowledge. And these are, you know, collect all the Wave Rippers TM vehicles. And these are all the other cars from that team. Alright, let's start opening the collectible card game starter set. I don't know how... I don't... I guess I'll have to open it sideways, I guess. Can't quite fit everything very easily onto the camera. And, uh... Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna even bother trying to open this with my with just my hands. So I've got something special. Alright. There we go. I think I almost got it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now I just believe I just have to dig a little further in the back of the packaging. Aha! I spotted an opening. I believe now I can There we go. Right into this and get everything that's in here out of here. I wanted to try to preserve it as much as possible, but to be fair, I don't really think that's much of an option. Oh, 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 actually, wait, I might be able to... There we go. That sort of... Ripping it this way sort of preserves it a little more. There we go. I just gotta... Get the rest. There we go. Opens up like a book, see? There we go. Now let's... First, I might, I guess we might as well show off the special painted... I, I keep forgetting the name of this thing. I really do have short-term memory loss when it comes to specifically just the name of this vehicle. Synchro, that was it. I don't even have to look at the bottom, but it should say, yes, yeah, Synchro. There it is. Very, very shiny, very translucent, very cool, lime green, well, not lime green, dark green, Synchro. And now, for the main attraction. The collectible card game itself, presumably, is inside whatever whatever this container is. I'm assuming I just have to lift it up. There we go. Yeah, I can feel it budging a little. Come on. It's very, it's very stiff. Maybe I just have to... Let's do it this way. There we go. There we go. Okay, there it is. It pops right open. Now, let's see what is in here. Oh, that's that's quite a bit of stuff. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll just toss a little bit there. Let's see. Let's see what we got. The collectible card game rules. Oh, that's gonna help me. It comes, uh, that's gonna help me when I try to learn how to play this, you know, in actuality later. Because it, it comes with game rules, which is super helpful, as always. Don't mix the decks yet. This starter set comes with two pre-built, ready-to-play decks. Okay, so the decks, you know, are 40, not 80. That, that makes a little more sense. One for each player. While learning the game, you should practice with these decks. So don't shuffle them together just yet. Read the rules and play a few practice hands before you mix the cards. So that's that little pamphlet thing that's on, on the back. And here are the cards themselves. I can't wait to look through those in a minute. But first, we got whatever these are. These must be the tokens it was referring to. I have no idea what tokens do in the context of the game, but it appears that they all have little pictures of the Wheel of Power on them, which is very interesting, since the Wheel of Power was a very important thing in, in the series, in both Excel Racers and Highway 35 World Race. And that's... and that's what the cards face down look like collectible card game, and there's, an, again, a very, like, vague picture of the Wheel of Power on them. And that looks really cool. Also, I like how I think that there's a little, like, holder thing alongside where the cards are stored, that you can hold the, hold the synchro in. I believe that's what this is for. Yeah, it is. There's, like, a little car holder here for it, which is pretty convenient. That's, that's cool. Anyway, let's take a look at the cards. What is this car? This is a vehicle car. It is magnesium. Looks looks a little bit like a bike. Well, what am I talking about? Of course it's a bike. 
Modern modern carbon alloys and a central exo frame give this a, give this extremely light motorcycle an extra edge in performance. Neat. Ooh, Technetium 2. I really like Technetium. I didn't know there was a sequel to it. This silencer's central exo frame has been re-engineered, adapting it for the grueling challenges of rally style racing. RDZ RD07. This heavy motorcycle glides on Magtev Mag Maglev hubless wheels. It may not be as fast as other bikes, but it gives a smooth, stable ride even in harsh, unstable terrain. RDO3 Vectra Metalloid. I've never heard of this vehicle before. That wow. RDO9. I'm not going to read the descriptions for all the cards, because otherwise this video is going to be an hour long, and I don't want to do that. So, uh, I'm going to flat, you know, for multiple of the, you know, vehicle cards, I'm just going to flash through them with much more speed. Ooh, what have we got here? Our first realm card. The Swamp Realm. Ooh, let's see if we can read the description here. It's alive! This organic track sprouts from a from a fetid swamp, from a fetid swamp, and winds up around towering trees, growing and branching faster than the cars that race on it. If you've seen the first movie in the Acceleracer series, Ignition, you remember how dangerous this one was. Ooh, this one's interesting. The Monument Realm. This one I don't think was in any of the movies, which is very, which is very interesting. There, there are a lot of cards. Well, I mean, I guess since you know there are you know way more cards in this that there, than there are actually cards and places that that they go throughout the movies. This is very fascinating. The only way to exit the ancient tombs of the Monument Realm is to decipher their mysterious hieroglyphs. A bit of a challenge when racing past them at 300 miles an hour. Ooh, according to the description of this one, the Hyper Jump card, it appears that this is an Accela Charger card. Making jet-boosted corrections on the fly, this Accela Charger allows you to execute a perfect jump every time you catch some air. Huh. The Wall Crawl Accela Charger. Huh. <laughs> Funny. This is the Mario Kart 8 Accela Charger. Hmm. What's this one? The Wind Shark Accela Charger. Huh, I've already found three Accela Chargers here. I didn't know there were this many. That's... Uh, that's interesting. A second Wind Shark Accela Charger. Huh, a first duplicate. I didn't know there could be duplicates here. Since this is a starter kit and all. Anyone who's seen the movies should recognize this one. The Teleport Accela Charger. Warp Pass Danger. Protects, protect a vehicle stack from hazards for three turns. When Teleport is equipped, place three tokens on it and remove one each turn during your tune-up phase to track the three turns. This... learning how to play this is gonna be very interesting. I think this is the first mod card we found in the Ound looking through this through, through these decks. This specifically des this specially designed supercharger is guaranteed to give any vehicle a 200 plus horsepower boost. The Mega Charger mod. Coming in hot, we've got a Pokemon. We've got a Pokemon move based mod. Hyper Beams mod. Very, very Pokemon like. Again, reminds me a little bit of Pokemon with what this one's called, the Engine Elixir. This is going to restore your engine's power points. Ha! <coughs> <coughs> that's that that's that's funny. That's a fun reference to one reference to again the first movie, Ignition, the Asphalt Anchor. That's that that's a funny mod. Oh, and we got two more of this and we got two of the same card back to back, we've got Wheel Shield. I don't think we've seen any wheel shields before, but there are two of them right next to each other here. Arrow package. Two again, two of the same card here, but two arrow package mod cards. Air refresher mod card. Ooh, I think this is the first hazard card we've seen. Giant valves open and close all along this stretch of pipeline. You'll need perfect timing to get through them without being crushed. Choke valves. Hazard card. Gear crush hazard card. 
Solar Flare Hazard Guard. Hairpin Turn Hazard Guard. N note that the car used on the art for the Hairpin Turn card is Ratified, which is the other vehicle that Mitchell McClurg or Monkey ends up driving. So that's, f that's, that's cool. The Stone Sphinx Hazard Card. And the... Moss Gorilla's Hazard Card. Yikes, that one. That one's kind of, that's kind of freaky. Carnivorous Plants Hazard Card. And Mutant Vulture Hazard Card. Again, just a little bit freaky. And we're in the home stretch of the first deck of cards. The first shift card we've seen, I believe. This is the first shift type card. And it is the soundproof shift card. Sound sound deadening panels throughout the car protect it from sonic attack, but noise still gets through. Good thing you grab those earplugs to cut acoustic interference to zero. Visor mask shift card. There's no way any glare from the track is gonna distract you through this baby. Emergency brake. This can this ang I was about to say camera angle. This angle for the artwork on this one reminds me a little bit of Top Ride. Robin is racing the shift card. And the and the dodging disaster. There are only three more. Under the hood. Under the hood shift card. Simulator run. Let's hope it doesn't, you know, go the same as how the simulator from Cars 3 went. And and the last card in the first deck. Draft and pass. Shift card. Come on. There we go. Alright, the first vehicle card of this deck is Jawjammer. Ooh, Battle Spec 2. Nightlife. I think Nightlife might be the bike that Vert uses in, like, the final movie of the franchise, or one of the shorts. I think he uses it in one of the mini shorts. Flathead Fury 2. Hmm. Hyper Baseline. Is this, like, different from the normal baseline? Ooh, Ratified 2. Ha, yes, I'm so glad I got this one for the memes. Cool, the Ice Realm. Ha, another one, another card that I can make a meme with. Ah, oh, man, I should have gone into this realm. It's beautiful. A Slip Grip Accelerator. Two Turn and Burn Accelerators. A Spoiler Mod Card. Spoiler Alert. Spy Eye Mod Card. Second Wind O2 Tank mod card. Two balance boxes. Two slam ram hyperpods. A maze minotaur hazard card. A spire slalom hazard card. Meteor shower. Kinda looks like someone is dynamaxing, am I right? I, I just got... Uh, okay. Cut me some slack. I just got sword and shield for Christmas and I haven't even opened it yet. Come on. I haven't, I haven't really played it yet. But, uh, it kind of reminds me of Dynamaxing. Two Avalanche Hazard Cards. An Endure Shift Card. Burnout Shift Card. Downshift Shift Card. Slalom Shift Card. And the, la and the last four are identical to the last four of the other deck, being another Dodging Disaster, another, other, uh, another Under the Hood, another Simulator Run, and another Draft and Pass. And that's all the contents of the Acceler Hot Wheels Accelerators collectible card game starter set. But we're not quite done yet with the card game, at least, because we've got Rollin' Thunder here, which is Monkey's original car. Again, I've got- well, actually, I don't know if I'm gonna need the scissors for this one. This, this one looks easy enough to do on my own. There we go, I just gotta rip this a little. Rip this a little bit. And I'd say right about here is where I have, and I'd say right about here is where I found an opening that I can rip into the rest of it and actually be able to uh, get through. There we go. There's the opening I was talking about. Very, very easy. 
to get through. Once again, opens up like a book. Let's take out the booster pack. Very, very fancy artwork. Not, not really on the back. Worth noting about, but yeah. Three cards are in here. Considering we just looked at 80 cards, I, you know, I, I don't have high expectations for this being too exciting, but what is exciting about this is the car itself. If I just carefully get it out of here, Rolling Thunder. A good look around it, on the bottom it should say. If I turn it around, of course, Rolling Thunder. TM. Alright, let's do the deed. Use the scissors like that. Gotta open a hole through the rest of the booster pack. And then we will see what we got. Alright, let's see what we got here. The three cards we got for the card game from Rolling Thunder are RD01 Vehicle. Ah, Duplicate. Another Wind Shark Accelerator. And a, and a Nano Parasites Hazard card. Interesting. And that's everything for Rolling Thunder. But again, the video isn't quite done yet, because we've still got the Wave Ripper painted Dior 2 to open. This one I'm definitely gonna try to like... This one I'm definitely gonna try to use the scissors for. Cause there's got- cause like this whole thing is like not all cardboard. There we go. Aha! I think I found my opening. There we go. Ugh, took a little bit of fiddling around with the scissors cause like this is very- yeah, that's definitely not all cardboard, as you can see. I can't even, like, easy, very easily bend this, but, yeah, it's very, it's very, very stiff, because it's, like, the plastic that would be, you know, surrounding this bubble pod, you know, this plastic is actually surrounding this entire thing, so, it's a little harder. It's a good thing I had scissors with me. There we go. Alright, first things first, let's look at the most, the least interesting item first, the little token it gives you. On the back it says peel you to win. Obviously, whatever competition or sweepstakes this was for is definitely not still around, probably, so uh at least it's a cool token. And we have this comic book with the Diora 2 artwork on it and artwork of basically all the main characters. These are all the main characters put in 2D. And they look like anime characters, which is kind of a which is kind of amazing. Because honestly, a lot of moments in these movies very do feel like anime. Episode 1 of 35? There were 35 comments for this? That's crazy. Oh, that makes a little more sense. 12 action pack pages. They're tiny. That makes sense. And they were probably split up one for each of the series. And each individual car from each team. Yeah, that makes sense. Why there are so many then? Because they're so short. If we flip down this flap, I can. Very carefully take out the, and take a good look at the shininess that is the Wave Rippers Highway 35 35th Anniversary Dior 2. Which happens to be my favorite Hot Wheels car of all time because of this franchise, so this is definitely very cool to have. And it even, you know, came with this little, like, mini cardboard little logo for the logo for the movie which which is kind of amazing uh.